What thousand companies are using AI right now today and how are they using them? What companies are still against AI and say they will never use it? That and a lot more that we're going to cover in this week's AI news segment. ChatGPT has done some updates this week, including the new Apps SDK. So you can actually see here what it looks like. It is talking to ChatGPT, but now with apps that are built in. Does this sound familiar? Well, that's probably because it is. They've tried this, and I think this is their third iteration. You can correct me in the comments below, but they had ChatGPT plugins, and then they tried that for a little while where you can have these different plugins based off whatever you're talking to. You can say, hey, let's call up this plugin, and it's now incorporated into our chat. They then said, okay, the plugin system is not working the way we want it to, and they scrapped it, and then they went to GPTs. So the whole concept of GPTs is you can put in your own custom prompt, you can link it with different apps, and now you can call these different GPTs and they serve a single purpose. And it seems like GPTs are out the door because they wanna make room for apps. So apps in ChatGPT will fit naturally into your conversation. You can discover them when ChatGPT suggests one at the right time or by calling them by name. So I don't know about you, I don't know how I feel about this because like just looking at the examples they have here. So if you want like booking.com, it might be faster to go to booking.com and then find whatever you're trying to book rather than going through chat, talking back and forth, back and forth, rather than like the nice UI that they have set up on these different websites to make searching and what you want a little quicker. I think like creating a quick playlist on Spotify, like they just showed, that one's not bad. And I think there are some good use cases for this, but I don't know about all of them. And I think that is why we keep having this iteration ChatGPT keeps having these iterations of the same type of idea. They're trying to find something that works and works well. And apps are now available today for all logged in users outside and then they go on a list of people who are not eligible. So it's available to everyone except for you guys. That is not the only news that came out of OpenAI this week. We also have Agent Builder. I've actually done a full video on Agent Builder and I've gone through like everything you need to know on how to use this tool because it is extremely powerful. On the left, we have different things we can just drag and drop over. So say we want to add a custom MCP server, we can do that, we can click it. And now if I move myself out of the way, on the right here, we can click add, and now we can add an MCP server, and we can see all the ones that exist here, third parties, we can go by other developers, we can even add our own custom server, and I have a full video that breaks down everything you need to know on how this works, but then we also have other things on the left here, like if else statements and while loops and things like that. So we can start and create full-fledged applications from start to finish that use MCP servers that go through like agent classifiers and it uses AI to determine, hey, what are we actually talking about? And then it's gonna use this if else statement to decide, okay, let's go to this agent now instead of this agent down here. Agent Builder is an extremely powerful tool and if you use it right and you create agents and you drag and drop and you customize everything and you spend some time learning the software or watching my video that goes through everything you need to know, you can actually make some really helpful tools to maximize your workflow. Elon Musk wasn't happy that he wasn't really included in last week's news segment. So XAI is stepping up with a game studio. So the XAI game studio will release a great AI generated game before the end of next year. Now there's actual job listings by XAI to be hired as a video game tutor. The job entails teaching Grok game design and the pay is 45 to $100 an hour, but that's not it. I forgot. There is one more thing. XAI is also building its own world model, which is designed to understand and interact with the physical world, not just text and images. So both Google and Meta have projects like this in the works. Now XAI wants to join the fold. They want to join the race. They want to build their own world models. What are your thoughts on AI in video games? Love to know what you think. All right, so let's talk about Mattel for a second. They are actually working with OpenAI Sora 2 and they want to use AI generated product videos and not just any product videos for any brand, we're talking Barbie, Hot Wheels and Polly Pocket. So they wanna use OpenAI's model to create short form clips to advertise these brands. Mattel is jumping headfirst into AI to generate product videos. And I'm not exactly sure how I feel about this, especially considering these items are generally targeted towards kids. On the other hand, 
The president of DC Comics, Jim Lee, says fans value authentic human creativity in storytelling and artwork. He says that DC Comics won't support generative AI, not now, not ever. He goes on to say that people have an authentic reaction to what feels authentic, we recoil from what feels fake, and that's why human creativity matters. So I guess for Jim Lee, AI currently doesn't pass the Turing test. But for every DC Comics company out there, there are a thousand other companies that are using AI right now. So here's over a thousand examples of generative AI being used in businesses today. OnStar by General Motors now has its own built-in virtual assistant that is using Gemini. Mercedes-Benz cars can now talk to the drivers also using AI. Volkswagen doesn't want to be left behind, so they're also building an assistant where their users can talk to their car using AI in life. But it's not just inside of cars, it's also in factories. So Toyota, for example, has used AI to optimize their workflow, to optimize their production line. And they're saying they saved over 10,000 man hours per year. TurboTax is adding AI features, so it's going to expand its capabilities of like the done for you autofill tax application. So with AI, it's able to do more. Even Upwork is integrating AI so you can connect customers and the people working faster to bring them together. Discover, the large financial institution, has an assistant now that you can talk to. Even Wayfair is using AI to automate its product catalog. The list goes on and on, and ideally, these companies are integrating AI in a helpful, productive way. And if you're a small business owner, I got good news for you. What if your website can handle support 24-7 without hiring additional staff? If you go to Elf site, you can come down and you can create a widget. You can enter in your own URL. It's going to analyze your website. And in just 10 to 15 seconds, you're going to have your own custom virtual assistant that your customers can start talking to. Now we have our own Franklin AI Assistant chatbot that we can talk to and we can just one click, hey, what are the newest AI tools available? It is able to look through the website and spit out the information from the Franklin AI website and you can use elf site to generate answers for your potential customers so they don't leave your website they can ask questions get answers and purchase things on the left here we can add my own custom question like do i do collaborations with an answer i can hit done so now if we come in and talk to our chatbot someone asks hey does franklin do collabs it is able to not just pull information from the website but it's able to pull information from the question and answers that we put in and it is that simple that easy and you can fully customize this in seconds so we have greetings so we can put welcome messages and quick replies we can change the button icons down to the theme it's like having a support agent that never sleeps it's just awake 24 hours seven days a week working for you check it out in the description below when we're talking about mattel using sora 2 sora 2 has really taken off it has achieved 1 million downloads faster than ChatGPT, and ChatGPT was really quick. Google is also launching a Gemini subscription to help corporate workers build AI agents. So it's not just ChatGPT working on agents, it is also Google, I'm sure Claude is as well, Anthropic, XAI, they are all doing it. Well, it's kind of interesting how this one came out three days after OpenAI's. And if you notice that trend, that back and forth, it means us, the customer is always winning. So Gemini Enterprise targets large organizations, and then we have Gemini Business for smaller clients. And the whole purpose, the whole concept of this is there are pre-made Google agents for software development, data scientists, and customer engagement. And then it also has the ability to create your own so they say, hey, corporate workers can build their own agents drawing on all this different data. Speaking of data and Google, we also have Figma, who's teamed up with Google to bring Gemini to its platform. So you can generate images with text prompts really quickly, and then the images that you do generate or the images you might have uploaded already, you can quickly tweak these AI images or the actual images based off whatever you need. So when you're on Figma, you can now quickly make all your images better using Nano Banana. The last piece of news is from Amazon. Meet the Amazon Quick Suite. So it will allow you to quick connect information across thousands of different applications, MCPs, anything and everything you want to connect. And then you can ask any questions and get helpful answers. Just to zoom in a little bit, I find this most interesting. Battle tested by tens of thousands of Amazon employees, tens of thousands of Amazon employees, and then dozens of customers. 
So you can use it for quick tasks, consumer AI can't handle because you're basically able to put your own data in there. What are your thoughts on AI this past week? Let me know in the comments below. If I miss anything, drop a comment down below. If you guys enjoy AI, don't forget to subscribe. I cover AI on a daily basis. Like the video, tell the algorithm you enjoy this type of content and want to see more of it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time with another AI video.